In an alternate version of Earth, the Great Plagues are killing millions of people. They are diseases born from alchemists experimenting with genetic science, thinking they've discovered God's secret code for life. However one of these plagues also creates a new kind of being that some people call vampires. They aren't supernatural creatures though, they are an improved version of humanity. Born from human mothers, the transformation happens when a specific virus interacts with a specific genetic mutation. They call themselves brothers, and by using science and taking over the church, they help humans fight against the plagues and offer spiritual guidance. Brothers drink only donated blood from churchgoers and live long disciplined lives as priests. Whenever a brother is born, he is immediately taken away to be brought up in the church, although lately not many brothers have been born and all the ones that exist so far have always been male. One day, young Silas is introduced to his newborn brother Edgar, who won't stop crying. Brother August tells him that since Silas and Edgar come from the same mother, Silas must guide him as he grows. A hundred years later, an adult Silas is in the slums using his super hearing to track down a crime. He hears the blood drop from a woman's body and follows a metallic noise to find Edgar escaping through a window. Silas tries shooting him, but Edgar dodges and escapes by jumping on the roofs. The next day, Silas shares a bloody drink with Augustus and expresses his wish to team up with the human police to go after Edgar, but Augustus refuses. He's been covering up all of Edgar's murders since the guy went crazy and started feeding on humans, which the Brotherhood hasn't done in centuries. If the truth comes out, people will panic and won't trust the brothers anymore, meaning they'll be treated as monsters again. Meanwhile in a poor neighborhood called Jamestown, there's an influenza vaccine shortage. The vaccines are supposed to be offered for free by the government, but criminals steal them for the black market. Captain Lily lost her husband and daughter to the influenza, so she works extra hard with Detective Jones to go after the illegal sellers. Today the duo is kicking down a door to burst into an apartment building, where they arrest the landlord. The man swears he's been giving out the vaccines to his tenants, but when the police enter a creepy old basement they discover dozens of sick people. As Jones gets aggressive with the landlord, Lily notices he won't move from his spot and they check under the carpet, where they finally find all the vaccines. The landlord just keeps asking for a lawyer, so an annoyed Lily punches him. The following day, a street kid is wandering around when he suddenly hears a woman screaming for help. He looks inside an alley and discovers Edgar feeding on a human, but as soon as Edgar sees the child, he escapes by climbing the walls and jumping on the roofs. At that moment a man finds the kid and thinks he killed the woman, but the child immediately says it was a brother. Moments later the police arrive, and a reporter tries to ask Lily about the rumors of a brother being the murderer, so Lily just tells the officers to arrest her. Next they check on the victim, confirming that her wound is a bite. Lily talks to the kid to confirm his story and tells her co-workers not to tell anyone about the evil brother to avoid causing panic in town. All this is seen by Silas from afar. Afterward, Lily informs Chief Anderson that she's quarantined the neighborhood and people believe there's a new influenza outbreak. Anderson points out that they can only keep the reporter arrested for two days and then the story will be out, so they need to solve the case fast. To her surprise, Anderson reveals that the Brotherhood will send a brother to help them with the investigation. Soon Silas arrives at the station and everyone acts as if he was a celebrity. Silas gives Lily a file with Edgar's information while his supervision studies her every move. Lily is angry that the Brotherhood has been covering up crimes, calling out the privileges of the church because they won't be punished for it. Afterward, Lily puts together a team of detectives and asks them to keep the secret before introducing them to Silas, who makes a whole presentation on Edgar. He explains that until three weeks ago, Edgar was a respected scientist in the Brotherhood and was the one who created the most recent influenza vaccine. His three victims are women in their early 20s but have no other connection, however Silas does know where the rest kill will happen. It turns out Edgar is treating this as a game and has set a recording in which he says that he'll take his next victim from an area called Bridge Square. The team is divided into smaller groups to patrol the area and Silas stands on a roof to use his supervision. Meanwhile Edgar is sneaking inside a building through the vents. He finds a woman he likes and tries to break in but the lead is stuck, so he goes to the neighboring apartment and waits for the male tenant to leave the room. At that moment two cops patrolling the building hear violent noises and alert the rest of the team. While Silas notices blood splashing on a window, Lily and the team enter the building only to find the two cops dead on the floor. They kick down a door and find the male tenant dead as well, so while the officers search the rest of the floor, Edgar surprises Lily from behind and pushes her into an empty room, where he starts feeding on her. At that moment Jones notices Lily is gone and comes looking for her, causing Edgar to escape through the vents before he could kill her. Then Silas arrives and offers some of his blood to Lily to help her survive. Once she's stable, Silas gets inside the ventilation shaft and uses his super hearing to follow Edgar, who ends up coming out when an angry Jones starts shooting at the vents. Edgar quickly runs down the corridor to then hide in the attic, only for Edgar to jump on him and push him through the floor. Suddenly Jones shows up and opens fire, hurting Edgar's cheek and causing him to run again. Then Silas shoots as well and this time Edgar is hit by a tranquilizer, causing his head to break the wall. Jones wants to kill Edgar but Silas doesn't let him, and Edgar is taken to the church. The next day Lily is at the hospital and keeps having horrible visions about Edgar. Silas visits her and they have a sweet bonding moment. On his way out, 
Silas is approached by Jones, who shows him the newspaper with the cover-up story. The authorities have told reporters that the killer had delusions of being a brother but he's now dead. Later at the church, Silas meets with Augustus and Dr. Leipsky, who is keeping Edgar in painful restraints because he decapitated a guard even though he was sedated. However Leipsky doesn't think Edgar is insane, he thinks he's infected. The doctor shows Silas an insane woman tied to a bed, who tries to attack Silas when he comes too close. It turns out Edgar was secretly experimenting with a new virus, which is supposed to be illegal. However since not a single brother has been born in 70 years and never a female, the brotherhood higher-ups allowed Edgar to be an exception so he could genetically control the birth of more brothers. In the end Edgar was successful because the women in the secret ward all transformed, but soon the virus changed and now most of the test subjects are dead while the survivors don't have much time left. Edgar is infected with the same virus and his brain is slowly decaying, meaning he'll be the first brother to ever die. Then Silas visits Edgar, noticing how the restraints are causing him to bleed from various spots. Edgar wants to finish Lily and when Silas defends her name, Edgar makes fun of him for having fallen in love, which brothers aren't supposed to do. Later in the evening, Jones and Lily break into a house to bring down a dangerous operation. As the cops arrest anyone in sight, Lily checks the back room and finds a bunch of girls that were about to be sold. On her way out, she feels like somebody is watching her, but Silas disappears before she can see him. At the church, Edgar is freed from the restraints but locked up inside a metal chamber. The only spot that isn't a wall is the window through which two guards are keeping an eye on him, so Edgar starts running toward it over and over to slowly make it crack. When Silas is interviewed on TV, Edgar hears it through the speakers and learns that his brother will be made cardinal in a special ceremony. A few hours later, Leipsky is called to check on Edgar because he killed the guard who gassed him to calm him down. They had thought Edgar was unconscious, but it turns out he learned to trick them. Now Edgar is studying the map of the building and once he memorizes it, he runs back to jump through the window, finally breaking it. After quickly killing the other guard, Edgar chases Leipsky and corners him against the wall, where he forces him to drink his blood before kicking him to death. At that moment more guards arrive, but Edgar kills them all in seconds. Soon he makes it to the front desk, where he kills the receptionist too. Meanwhile Silas is made cardinal, and the ceremony includes using a sword for a blood offering. Sadly he doesn't have time to celebrate because he comes back to find the massacre left by Edgar. The next day, Detective Kelly is walking through town when she hears a woman crying for help. A man named Freddy is threatening to mutilate his victim, so Kelly surprises him with her gun to make him let the woman go. At that moment Edgar jumps on her and knocks her out, revealing this was a trap to capture Lily and Freddy made a mistake because both detectives look alike. Then Edgar feeds Kelly some of his blood, causing Freddy to ask for some as well because he enjoys the visions caused by it. Moments later, Jones brings the news of Kelly's kidnapping to Lily, who is staying in her apartment while Silas watches over her. Guessing Edgar's intentions, the team argues over how to proceed, and Lily volunteers to be bait. In the meantime, Freddy continues to drain Kelly of her blood while Edgar stands on the roof, using his super senses to find Lily. In the middle of the night, Silas watches Lily sleep and can't help smelling her hand before kissing her, only to realize it's a dream when he hears Jones nearby. Edgar is in the apartment under Lily's, causing Silas to sense him and leave through the window to look for him. Lily looks out and notices something moving behind another window, so she and Jones go to check out that apartment. After kicking down the door, they look around and Lily approaches the window, which is immediately broken by Edgar to drag her out. Then Edgar holds Lily against the wall, ready for revenge, only for Silas to show up and threaten him with his gun. Edgar drops Lily to attack Silas, and she has to hold onto a pipe to save herself. A powerful kick from Edgar causes Silas to fall and hit a few pipes before fainting on the ground. By the time he wakes up, Edgar and Lily are gone. When Edgar returns to the hideout, Freddy informs he and Kelly are feeling very sick. Edgar ignores him and gives him new orders, causing Freddy to protest. Annoyed, Edgar kills him by removing his heart. Afterward Edgar places Kelly out in the street with a note that says everything flows from me, my blood will change the world. Soon Stephanie is found and taken to the hospital, where she behaves violently and crazy. More cases are appearing by the hour, meaning Edgar is spreading his virus around. In just a few hours the hospital is filled with insane and violent women who also start dying one by one. Obviously they can't keep the secret anymore, so the authorities announce that a new plague is spreading. Jamestown is quarantined and martial law is instituted, which means any person wandering around after hours gets shot. Meanwhile Lily is handcuffed to a pipe in the hideout and asks why Edgar hasn't killed her, so he confesses he wants to force Silas to drink from her. Eventually a crowd gathers outside the church, demanding a solution. Silas wants to look for Edgar, but Augustus forbids it and informs him that the Brotherhood and the government have reached a difficult decision. The areas around the quarantine zone will be evacuated and the slums will be burned down, that way they can eliminate both Edgar and the infection for the greater good. Refusing to lose so many innocent souls and especially Lily, Silas breaks the rules and visits Jones, who is very dismissive of him. Silas grabs him by the neck and explains he's come to help before hearing the water in Jones's sink. 
This reminds him of Edgar's message that mentioned flowing, and Silas realizes he must be contaminating the water supply with his blood. Silas tells Jones to inform the press of the water and the Brotherhood's plan, then he sneaks around the soldiers guarding the slums by breaking through a building's window. On the streets, he finds a dedicated brother tending the dead who shows him something important. Afterward Silas arrives at the water supply and Egar leaves Lily alone to meet him. Lily notices that the pipe is a bit loose and starts kicking the wall, making a loud noise that alerts Silas. However he sees a female shadow running around and follows her instead. Desperate, Lily moves down the pipe and manages to kick the door open, then she starts yelling Silas' name. At that moment Silas realizes he's been following a random infected woman and Edgar uses the distraction to attack him from behind. Both brothers fall from a platform and hit a bunch of pipes before landing on the floor while the crazy woman follows Lily's voice. The woman tries to come inside to feed on her, so Lily starts kicking the door to keep her out. Unfortunately the woman comes in anyway and starts pulling Lily down, causing the pipe to finally break. By sliding the handcuffs down, Lily is finally free and when the woman tries to attack her she just uses the handcuffs to choke her to death. Back to Edgar, he tries to give Silas his blood, but at that moment he wakes up and tries to shoot him. Edgar immediately kicks the gun away and a fight ensues, during which Silas keeps asking about Lily. No matter how many times Edgar tries to attack, his sick body is too slow and Silas easily overpowers him, so Edgar buys time by begging for mercy. Once Silas is distracted, Edgar kicks him and impals him on two steam rods. An injured yet alive Silas falls to the ground and Edgar threatens to burn his face down with the steam, however he dies first when Lily stabs his brain with another steam rod. On their way out, Silas kisses Lily before showing her the important thing the other brother is guarding. It turns out an infected woman has given birth to the first female vampire, so Lily accepts to leave with the baby to keep her a secret and protect her from the Brotherhood. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.